you already know what it is it's time for the podcast welcome to the podcast welcome this one is going to be about anime and no not strictly the anime that we talked about last time i know that i've been on kind of an anime kick but i've been really really into anime lately so i want to talk about it and i'm going to do that thing this one is specifically about the anime that I really, really, really like. Now, I know that I've made a top five anime video, um, but I wanted to get a little bit more into some of the stuff that I really like, uh, and I just happened to take a look at my anime list, which I totally forgot to fucking link in the last one. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I will definitely make sure to link it in this one, so down below if you want to follow along with the animes that I'm talking about. You can get their descriptions and all that kind of stuff, the scores that I've given them. But right now, obviously, we are talking about all of my number 10 scores and probably a couple number 9 scores. So basically, what I really wanted to try and do with this is to not really give spoilers, because uh, I want to keep this as dry as possible. But I at least wanted to kind of get out there with a little bit more detail on why I enjoyed these animes so much. And some of them are strictly for nostalgia's sake. And other ones are because I actually really, really like the characters. Or because I really, really like the storyline. Um, so I'll kind of go into that and just know that uh, if, if I decide that there's something that I'm going to say that's spoilery... I will make sure to mark it and let you know, but this should be generally spoiler-free. Um, the first one on my list, which I have already talked about in my top five anime video, if you haven't watched that, I will link that down below as well, is uh, Fruits Basket, which I have given a 10. Um, it was purely for nostalgia's sake that I actually had this in my list. Um, when I had first watched it, it was way, way back when, when I was in high school, and I had gotten, like, my first laptop, um, which, as you can imagine, uh, I was, like, 15, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. My first laptop, I immediately downloaded World of Warcraft and started playing games, and then I, uh, I had gotten into watching anime again, and the way that I watched it was, uh, this, this site called Vivo, and it's not like, or, or no, sorry, V-O, I think it was V-E-O-H. And it's not like what you're thinking. It's not like uh, what they have for like music on YouTube now. It's not the same thing. It was like this application that you could download that people shared media to. And there was just a ton of anime that I've watched on there. And Fruits Basket happened to be one of the first ones that I ever watched on there. And it was just, it was so mind-blowing to me that there was just this weird animated like i had at first thought it was just a cartoon i i had never known what anime was at that point um because you know most of the anime that i watched was on freaking adult swim which you know of course i i would think like oh you know inuyasha stuff like that um but i never really saw an anime that was like fruits basket which is basically a slice of life with some like mystery or not mystery more like mystical shit in it and it was just really incredible like the i fell in love with the characters and i i fell in love with the storyline and and the way that things played out was just amazing and and while the older version of fruits basket just honestly looking back on it, it looks like shit um i'm really glad that they decided to redo it and uh, even add like a second season onto it because it looks so good now. The characters are are still just as likable as they used to be, and it's it's just really really cool. And if, if you haven't watched it, uh, if you haven't watched any of the ones that I'm going to be talking about, um, I definitely recommend it. It's it's just an incredible slice of life, and I I love it to death. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho was the next on my list. I don't really want to get into this one a whole lot. I don't remember a ton from it. Um, but it was pretty much the early generation's version of Bleach, essentially. A at least that's what it felt like to me. I, I felt like maybe Bleach took a little bit of stuff from this show. Now, it's obviously not the same. The characters are very different. The storyline is very different. I'm sorry if you hear my chair squeaking. Um, but it's number 10 on my list, I think, purely, uh, for nostalgia's sake as well. But I do think it was still a really, really good show. But it was a very long show. 
Um, I think there's what, like 112 episodes or something like that. It's amazing. I, I really, really liked it. And it was one of one of my first shonens that I had ever watched aside from Inuyasha. Inuyasha, I'm sorry. Uh, then we got Orin, Orin High School Host Club, which very obvious since, you know, most people who are into Fruits Basket usually are also into Orin High School Host Club. I haven't really met a whole lot of people who aren't also into that if they've watched Fruits Basket. It's not the same thing at all. However, it sort of ties into the same type of like time. And those two animes were just huge for me when I was in high school and I had watched this a little after I had watched a couple of my first like uh, yaoi animes and stuff like that. Not like hardcore shit, but more so along the lines of like, uh, what was it? Uh, there was like Loveless and, and, uh, oh, fuck, what was the other one? Uh, shoot, I can't remember it right after. Oh, Gravitation. Gravitation was another one. Um, but Orin High School Host Club was just such a different type of anime for me. I still rewatch it every single year. That's one anime that is on 10 because I loved it to death. The characters, every single one of them, I absolutely love. And they're just, it's so good. It's so amazing. And I i just, I cannot help but to bring myself to rewatch it every single year. It's really that good, honestly. Uh, the main character is uh, very obviously my favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a sucker for a lot of main characters. There's a couple animes where the main characters are kind of eh for me, but most of the time it's a main character that ends up being kind of my like forte. I'm like, oh my god, that's my favorite character, obviously. Uh, the next one on that is actually a pretty recent one. Uh, it's, uh, The Promised Neverland, which my buddy Kapa actually bullied me into watching. <laughs> he was like, bro, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. And you know what? I couldn't have been happier to have watched it. I ended up watching it with him because I'm such a little baby bag bitch that like anytime that something bad happens in an anime or, or any show, t to be honest with you, it doesn't have to specifically be an anime. Like, any kind of, like, angst really, really gets me. Like, I feel that shit. And it makes me really sad. Like, I'll get depressed if something depressing happens in a show. I don't know what's wrong with me on that, but I I just feel like I feel too much when I watch stuff. So it makes it really hard for me to watch stuff like this because The Promised Neverland, very obviously, is a very, very sad anime. It is incredibly sad, but it's also got some really, really wholesome stuff in there, too. And the characters are just, oh my god, like, I, I, I can't even explain it. They're just amazing. And I loved all three of the main characters. So, again, definitely go watch it. It's a 10 on my list. Um... I think, uh, I, I had talked about the next one a little bit as well, uh, which was My Roommate is a Cat. That's a 10 on my list. And it's a 10 on my list because it was so short but sweet. And there's nothing more to say to it but that. The characters were amazing, but you don't really get to, like, know every single one that much. But you do really, really get to like see another side of anime that is just so wildly different from what you usually probably watch that I just like the way that they portrayed a lot of the uh, main characters uh, actions and what eventually like you know comes out to the very end the last episode um I was just really really good I really liked it um these three these next three are on my list specifically, again, for nostalgia's sake. That's not to say that I don't like them, but I would probably never watch them again. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, which is a 9. Full Metal Alchemist, which is also a 9. And Wolf's Reign, which is a 9. Now, Cowboy Bebop, I watched, obviously, in high school. Um, and I liked it. It was good. It's good for a reason. I, I can't really say that there's anyone that I've met who doesn't know what Cowboy Bebop is. It's such a titular title in anime that it, it's hard to not find someone 
uh, at least within my generation, who has never heard of Cowboy Bebop before. Um, and I can almost say the same for Full Metal Alchemist, because that was such a big anime, and it, it also had some really great games as well. But then I think uh, the next one, which is Wolf's Reign, is so underrated and very under the radar that it, it's almost hard to find anyone who's ever heard of it before. But it is a good anime, although it is it, incredibly sad. Like, it is probably almost one of the saddest animes that I've ever watched. And I think that's kind of why I liked it. Because I don't really watch a lot of that stuff. I would never watch it again. Because, again, I, I hate, like, having to watch really, really sad shit. But I think if I had to choose, um, Wolf's Reign would probably still be really, really up there with, with, like, a lot of the weirder animes that I've watched. You know, like, FLCL and shit like that. It's not really the same thing as that. It's, it's just, it's very dark. It's very gloomy. And it, it it's sort of gory at times as well um but i'd watched it with my brother when i was much much younger uh i think i i think it was even before high school that i had watched it um it was it used to be on adult swim like super late at night at like one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning and me and my brother would stay up and watch detective conan and then wolf's rain would come on and it was just it was so different that i i don't know i just kind of latched onto it um, and then you've got My Hero Academia. Now, here's the thing. There's so many seasons to My Hero now, uh, with the fifth season coming out soon. Um, each season has a different type of, like, feel for me, but I love the characters. And I feel like I can't rate the anime very well because I fell in love with the characters too much. Like, I... I would say that I'm more connected to the characters than I am connected to the show. It's a weird thing to say, but I'm very involved with uh, the My Hero Academia community. So I see a lot of like fan fictions that come up. I see a lot of like art and I own a lot of My Hero Academia fan art. And I mean, it hangs up in my room and I've got so many different like pins and stuff like that and it's just it's it's really cool because the characters are just they're they're so like they have so much expression and i feel like a lot of shonens like have some very cliche type of expressions for their characters that it's really hard to get into them uh a lot of the times for me but my hero does it a tiny bit differently and i feel like it's just a different type of show rather than what a regular shonen would usually end up being like something along the lines of um I, I guess like one piece like you know those those types of shows which are just so wildly different because they're different but then my hero comes in and yeah people are different because they've got quirks but you've also got these very down-to-earth like teenagers who are trying to become superheroes and they have to learn along the way that like they're still teenagers there's still stuff that they can't do and there's things that they're going to have to learn to do and it's crazy to see that like develop and become a thing in this show and i think that's also a lot of the reason why i liked it and why i connected with the characters so much because of the character progression in it um God, I wish I had more time. I'm already at like 14 minutes and I, I want to at least keep it to 15. So for the last minute, I'm just going to list off the rest of my number nines, uh, which would be Cells at Work, which I watched with my buddy Kapat. It's an amazing anime and I really recommend you watch it very soon because second season is coming out very soon. Same with Beastars. Beastars was another one that's on my nine list that I really do recommend people watching. It's on Netflix. It's incredible. Second season, I believe, is coming out very soon as well. And then I, the last one was uh, Somali, which I had talked about already. And it was it was awesome, honestly. I really want to do uh, an, an old school anime like look back. I just wanted to kind of list off a lot of the animes that I've really, really enjoyed so far. Just watching and kind of give a little bit more thought process on them. Um 
but it's also really hard to keep it to like 15 minutes because I feel like there's so much to talk about with so little time. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick apart each one in some podcasts uh, one by one because I really, really want to get into them. And I know I said that I wasn't going to do that here, but you know what? There's like... 370 million days in a year and you know what I'm gonna use all of them to my advantage to list off a lot of the animes that I like um and a lot of the stuff that I have been really really into I think the next podcast is probably gonna be about music actually I, I want to do a podcast on music and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing next um specifically mine probably and then we'll get into some really cool bands that I enjoy. Um, but I want to kind of go back and forth. I think uh, next time will be music and like how I came into it, how I create it, all that stuff. And then the one after that will probably end up being anime, maybe a specific anime. And then we'll go back and forth in between the two because those are my two huge loves is uh, anime and music. That's like my thing. So. I think that's where I'll kind of leave it. Uh, we're at 16 minutes, so I'm way over the time limit. I'm sorry for those of you that felt like you were here too long and you didn't make it to the end here. But if you did make it to the end, you're incredible. You're awesome. I appreciate it all to heck. And I hope you have a very, 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 very good day or night or evening, wherever the hell you are. Thank you again. I'll see you guys in the next piece. Peace out.